Du, 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 du. Stream starting yet? Is it ready? Ah, I feel like I should have restarted my computer before this. I didn't expect it to be this bad. Because it was working fine earlier. But I guess I wasn't streaming also, so that's probably why. Get the stream back up. Okay, looks good. Just get into it. Oh, the god, that frames will drop. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. Okay. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Oh, okay. I was kind of wondering what he was trying to say there. And that makes a lot of sense. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. That lone wolf is truly admirable. From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... I have to do what? Uh, another one of those pesky visitors. <laughs> I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's <laughs> also a part of your training. Yeah, okay. A pesky visitor? So even here, there are those that Xiao can't deal with? Oh god, I'm dropping a lot of frames. Oh, oh heavens. Blessed be Rex Lapis. I've finally come upon the Adepti. Well, good thing about me dropping frames is that at least the audio is okay. Oh, That was kind of really bad. Uh... I get through this little bit of dialogue and then I'll restart the stream again. Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Uh, great! My name's Sin Chung. I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O Adepti. I beg of you. Please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. <laughs> Asking for a lot. Oh, so it's a pilgrim. I can see why Zhao found his type a troublesome. Huh. He can handle any battle, but talking to strange humans is a different story, huh? <laughs> Whole another ball game. I am also one of the adepti. You can say that I'm an adeptus in training. Perfect. I didn't come in vain then, although you sound a bit half-hearted. Uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Wow, straight to the point, huh? Yeah, Jesus Christ, man. Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every Pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? No, but you have to earn it, right? Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that... Everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging. Well, it's, it's true. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family instead of chasing after fairy tales. He's giving it to him straight, huh? Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who pose as an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? Show some suspect, motherfucker. Ugh, how dare you reprove me? I bet you came here looking for the adepti yourself. Mm, he might sort of have a point. We did come here looking for Ganyu after all. But not to get material wealth. Ugh, enough. Doesn't matter if you're a real adeptus or not. You're... Useless. I'm leaving. Fuck off then. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. Uh. Can you don't let that guy ruin your mood? Uh. It's not his behavior. The things he said. He was right. Which part? <laughs> I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I. Uh. I don't know. This is kind of hard. I feel like you shouldn't be like, oh, I'm one or the other. It's one of those situations where I feel like it's better to be accepting of both your sides. Because you're not, you're not human. You're not an adeptus or pure adeptus. You're both. You know, like me, I'm a hybrid. I am a human and a demon. So I think it's good to accept the fact that you're not one or the other. You're both combined and you have to accept both sides of yourself. But... I'm unwelcome in Leo at Harbor. 
As an adeptus, I... Can you believe a human like me just this once? It's true! Just believe us! Uh... Alright. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. Don't worry, it was... you're completely wrong. They really want it's you back, step in the right direction. Let's go! Alright, first step. Second. Third. Second, third sounds weird, eh? Ah, stream looks smooth enough for now, so I'm gonna keep going. I don't want to stop because I feel bad if I just have like a really short stream. Wait. I, I met the stream for at least like two hours today. Because it takes like an hour usually for each quest line. We're finally back! Uh, I'm still... Come on, Ganyu! We're almost there! You don't want to turn back now, do you? I suppose you have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. You yeah, can't ditch us now. That's right! Where do you want to go first then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Okay. Happy to come with. You yeah, smell like fish, though. So. Wharf. Yeah, it's like way over there. <laughs> Not walking that way. Not the entire way, at least. If only I could fly. Oh, I guess I could. But not very fast. Not like a bird. I think it would be nice if we could fly as fast as a bird, but at the same time... I feel like that would lead to a lot of, like, air traffic and getting absolutely fucking bodied. So... I mean, in order to fly that fast, they have to exchange normal bones for, like... Hollow bones so that they're arrow like that they're lighter. And I feel like if we had lighter bones, we'd just get absolutely bodied by so many creatures. <sighs> the sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Ganyu, you, you didn't leave Liyue for that long. Why do you look so moved? Feels like less than a week, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. Ah, I see. Huh. That's true. Ganyu seem to be working all the time. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. That's kind of boring. It put me in a certain mood. Similar to the one I felt during my training in Juyun Karst, in fact. Why, isn't it little Miss Ganyu? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. <laughs> you were always so terribly busy. I've never seen you before. Th this old man called her Little Miss Ganyu. Little Miss Ganyu! Uh, please don't also start calling me that. <laughs> <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Uncle Tian. He is... That's alright. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Leo after all and... I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Who the hell are you? Uncle Tian is a member of the Leo Achisi. Oh. The Tianshu. Oh, shit. What? This grandpa is a member of the Chisi? That's pretty important, then, eh? The same rank as Ningguang? Yeah, let me just apologize for my behavior. Hush now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. Uh. In most people's eyes, I'm just a forgetful and wordy old man. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. <sighs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to remember if I've ever messed with him. I feel like I don't even... <laughs> I have never seen him. Oh, little Miss Ganyu. Your kind words make me feel that my decades of hard work haven't been in vain. Uncle Tian, a person of your standing should really stop calling me Little Miss Ganyu. <laughs> oh, my apologies. It's not intentional, just a childhood habit of mine. It's okay. Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Chi Sing. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, yeah. huh? 
Oh, I was just fulfilling my duties as the Qixing secretary. It's nothing worthy of your gratitude. Well, even if it is work, you're still helping people out, right? Talking about secretaries... Oh, I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu, I believe you know my daughter, Huixin? She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Yes, she works at Yua High Pavilion and she's my junior. How can I help her? <laughs> I don't know myself, really. Uh, she's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. Yeah, it's, uh, 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 I forgot the word. May I trouble you to meet her at UAI Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. Independent, that's what I was trying to say. Independent young woman, that's what I was trying to say. With pleasure. Solving the Chi Sing's problems has always been in my job description. She's back in character, just like that, huh? <laughs> I forgot you didn't even notice. Let's move them to your high pavilion. Head to your high pavilion and speak to the Shisin. Over here. All the teleporting around is making my legs tired. I'm so tired. I don't know why. I've been like really tired recently during this time. That's why I missed my last stream. Because I, I fell asleep again. It's like, I don't know why. I'm sleeping for like a decent amount. I'm waking up on time. Maybe I need to take a nap every like afternoon. Maybe we should get used to the habit of- Well, I don't think it's a good habit to take a nap every single day, is it? This is a peaceful day. I guess I do need more sleep in order to be satisfied than a lot of people, so... Hello. Huh, Miss Ganyu. It's been too long. I don't know why, but seeing you brings me a sense of peace in these chaotic times. Indeed, it has been a while, Huixin. I'm flattered, but aren't you exaggerating a little? Now you're really useful. I heard that you've encountered some problems and came to see if I could be of some help. Really reliable, I should probably be saying. <sighs> My father asked you to come, didn't he? Abusing his status as a member of the Chi Sing to trouble you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from Yua High Pavilion. Ganyu's not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. So, He's so short. What can you tell me about the problem? Ugh, where should I start? I discovered something strange while organizing tax records. Mm -hmm. There are obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique. However, whether I question the shopkeepers or check their accounts, I, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Without any evidence, my hands are tied. Tied. I see. It's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. I'm sorry, I'm like really tired today. I'm trying to... Yeah, I should be okay. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally. I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. That's a thousand years of hard work, of work experience for you. Yeah, imagine. It's hard to get like a year of experience so it was like a, as a real person. I think I have been in... Around for that long. Let's approach it this way then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Well, I mean, I always buy Second Life stuff, so. Hmm. In that case. They have general goods. In that case. Ah! I know what you mean, Miss Ganyu. I still don't get it. Miss <laughs> Ganyu plans to let them expose each other. Okay. Exactly. Let's start with Wanyo Boutique. The owner's name is... Bolai, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. Follow me, please. Isn't that like bratty flower shop owner? Or like kind of a prick dude? TP. Toilet paper. Yeah, it's this fucker. 
I don't like this guy. Aha! We meet again, traveler. And you must be from the Yuhai Pavilion? <laughs> I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be honored to offer you my wares. That won't be necessary, Mr. Bolai. Wanyo Boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from Yuahai Pavilion. Mm. Okay. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Second Life? Ugh. That rascal Dongshan. He's stealing all of my customers. <laughs> well, Second Life's credit has always been excellent, and based on their tax records, their business is thriving. <laughs> oh, hmm. Tax records? <laughs> thriving? Huh. Is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Bolai? Don't let that rascal fool you. I know his dirty tricks best. <laughs> if you don't believe me, show me his tax records. I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. You know Second Life's business so well? <laughs> of course. Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. God. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. <laughs> That's real petty. Well then, please look over this tax record. We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. Oh, of course. I'll read very, very carefully. <laughs> line by line and word by word. God damn, dude. Why well, take some time to examine Second Life's tax record? Ah, here I found it. That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fanmu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Look at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. So he actually found something. I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Is this tax evasion? Hmm, <laughs> I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Ms. Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Yeah, because they don't have any reason to keep that hidden. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. Master Lu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. I hope so. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It Ch should be near Chingsa Village. Chingsa Village? Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. That's so far away. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't go to Chingsa Village. It's so far away. It's all right, Weishin. You can stay in Liyua Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Yep. Ah, oh, that's so considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. So it's, uh, it's all good. I don't know why I'm here, to be honest. <laughs> why am I here? I'm acting so shady. What? Okay, I was just a bit confused there. Because I never go down here because he doesn't sell anything. So, because we're talking about how this guy sells something similar, like, I thought that he might actually, you know, be selling something. Guess not, though. Okay. Where is this? Down there? Wait. Wait. Literally like across the fucking region. Hey, Master Lou. Ah, welcome, welcome. How can an old carpenter like me help you? You can give us an invoice. 
<laughs> I'm usually happy to take new apprentices, but uh, I'm afraid I can't take too many at once. Uh, but I'm always around if you're keen for a chat. <laughs> Kingsa really is full of lonely old people. <laughs> hey, I heard that, flying one. <laughs> uh, Paimon, sorry. Master Lu, we've just come to see you and ask you some questions. Mm. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I know. You're from the Yuhai Pavilion, right? Why would the Chi-Sing care about an old man like me? Well, whatever. You said that you want to ask me something. Ask away, then. <laughs> You're very direct, Master Liu. I will be plain. We're looking for proof that Dongsheng from Second Life has been evading taxation. Yeah, give us the, give us the invoice. Dongsheng bought some furniture from you at the beginning of the year. Do you still have the invoice or any other record of that transaction? Oh, it's about Second Life. It was a big order. Hmm. How could I forget? Sure enough, Mr. Balai was right. Could we perhaps borrow that invoice? We won't have any evidence to bring against Dongsheng otherwise. Yeah. Well, of course you can. But I'm not so sprightly anymore. What does that have to do with the tax? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I only do my woodwork and display finished wares here at Fonmu Carpenters. As for old documents and such, I keep them all in a warehouse west of here. Oh, so you're saying we gotta go over there? But some troublemakers have recently moved there, invading my warehouse. I, I tried to drive them away, but they just wouldn't leave. Well, what's in Since there? Since you need that invoice anyway, it may be best to get it from the warehouse yourself. And while you're at it, you can teach those louts a lesson. Sure. So that's what happened. I see. I'll leave you to it then. I need to get back to work. Oh, he's like straddling away. Straddling? Back what? To warehouse, find the invoice. Doesn't make sense. Time for us to show our stuff in a fight. Trotting. That's what I was trying to say. Wait, oh, it doesn't make sense either. I think I saw one of those troublemakers. Ah, uh, over there. Oh, Paimon sees them too. <gasps> It's one of the Fatui! What is he trying to do? He's trying to pick those berries! They must be plotting something against Liyua Harbor. Maybe they're the scoundrels who invaded Master Lu's warehouse. Shall we observe them for a little while? Ever since Osile attacked the harbor, the Fatui's reputation in Liyua has reached rock bottom. Yeah, I wonder why. We won't cause a serious diplomatic crisis by getting into some small scuffle with the Fatui within our borders. You need not worry. Besides... I can already feel their malicious intentions. Consider it my intuition as the secretary of the Chising. So basically you're saying it's okay to kick their ass. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go teach him a lesson. <laughs> Coming in hot! Let me scrub. Oz, reveal! One, two... Three. Also ult, cause why the fuck not? Brown. That did no damage. Oi! He's weakened! Oh shit, fuck him up eh? I think you've had enough. About time you tell us your plan. No? Plan? What plan? We just taught you a lesson, but clearly you weren't paying attention. <laughs> if you don't spill whatever you're scheming against Liyue, we'll be forced to use harsher methods. <sighs> Quick, tell us everything! I'm telling the truth. There's no scheme. I believe him, to be honest. If you're telling the truth, then why would you, a member of the Fatui, suddenly appear on the outskirts of Chingsa Village? You have a good family member here? Fine. If you really want to know, then, well... I was about to. About to what? Pick berries over there. I fucking knew it! I fucking called it! I literally said it way for a song! Um I must admit, I didn't expect you to come up with such a silly excuse. It's not an excuse. I rarely have a free morning, and I heard that there were fresh berries in this area. <laughs> Think about it. I'm here alone, and Chinksa Village is nothing more than a retirement spot for old people. 
What could I be scheming anyway? I literally fucking called it. He was picking those fucking berries. <laughs> Judging by how he's looking at us, it does seem like he feels like he's the victim here. So you have nothing to do with the occupation of Fonmu Carpenter's warehouse? Fonmu Carpenter's warehouse? Where's that? <laughs> I swear, I only came here to pick berries. That's all. Totally understandable, man. Enjoy your free time. So it wasn't the Fatui who took over Master Lu's warehouse after all. We might have blamed them for nothing. I also feel that he's telling the truth. Yeah. Uh, um, whoopsie. Do you want us to pay for your insurance? I misjudged the situation and offended you. My apologies. Our, uh, our exchange only represents my personal views. If you wish it so, you can file a complaint to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Oh, jeez. Exchange? <laughs> this woman, she's clearly aware that the Ministry of Civil Affairs wouldn't side with us for Tui. Yes, precisely. As an alternative, you may try to solve this problem with force once again. Paimon's in! <laughs> Darn you. How can you wear that solemn face while bullying me like this? <laughs> What's your choice then? Uh, it's just really funny, this image of this like really small girl bullying this really big guy. I'll get back to my berries. <laughs> Good choice. He's on break though. What a bittersweet ending. I made a laughing stock out of myself. I might have spent too much time away from work. My intuition is not as accurate as it used to be. No worries. It's always nice to teach the Fatui a lesson. Oh, well, I kind of didn't deserve it, though. <laughs> Let's keep moving towards Master Lu's warehouse. Our goal is to get the invoice, after all. <laughs> Poor guy. I literally called him out, though. <laughs> Where is it? To the west? To the west, to the west, everything you own is in the box to the west. That's, that's fine, I can sing that much. You know what? There's a lot of so enemies here, folks. the warehouse. Seems like those troublemakers were nothing more than a few hair churls. Let's show them what we got. Alright. Water. Oh, oh my, oh my fucking MS. I got to the fucking 300 there. Not my milliseconds! Holy shit. I can fucking see the delay, holy shit. My god! Buck, 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 and bada boom. Oh, okay. These guys aren't dropping anything, so... Time for takeoff. Bada boom. Let me scry. Let me scry. Decided by destiny. Hopefully I can just hit the, uh... By this guy. Hey. Oh Brace god, this, this ping, what the hell? Shadows of fate. Oh jeez, Louise! One second. Once this is over. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna wait for it to calm down a little bit here. What the heck? Why did my ping just skyrocket so hard? Uh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna reset my internet real quick. Let's see if that fixes it. One second. But ring. But boom. Cause jeez Louise. Like it went from 50 ms to fucking like max. Alright, is it okay? It doesn't look like it's okay, but. Okay, maybe it's alright. At least it's like I can actually attack properly here. Jeez Louise! Is it? Oh. Nope. Oh, it's right there. 
Yo me... This one is an invoice oh, no, from one. one Min restaurant. Some dining tables and chairs. That's not it. This. This one is Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Oh, hey, we're gonna be there in a moment. Oh, so they make coffins too. We're gonna be heading there after this. Um, where is it? Elemental site. No, that's kind of stupid to expect me to find anything with that, actually. Got a butterfly. Mm, maybe in the back here? Nope. Over here? What the hell? This one is... Second Life! We finally found it! Let's bring this invoice back to Hoishin! Goodness. Who the hell puts the fucking invoice at the back of the warehouse? Like my humming? I'm pretty good at it, not gonna lie. Okay. Hey! Dropping. Oh, I almost hit the fucking bar there. That would've been kind of funny, not gonna lie. Hello. Ms. Ganyu, you're back. I hope it wasn't too much trouble rushing about like that. I promise to help you and I'll keep my word. Nothing to worry about. Look, it's the invoice for the transaction between Second Life and Fanmu Carpenters. We've brought it back. Oh, thank you so much. Now we can solve this problem. Now we can... F what was it? Uh, now we can... <sighs> Shit, whatever. Agreed. How about we go to Second Life and have a nice chat with the owner? I feel like Ganyu doesn't isn't as sweet as she looks. Eh? <laughs> I mean, she's just doing her job, I guess. But the thing is, Second Life is a good source of wheat and almonds, so like, I don't want to get them too hard. Ooh, my eyes are actually kind of a little bit hard to open. Once the stream's over, I just take a really hard nap. And by nap, I mean full on sleep. So, about those tax records. Isn't it Huixin from the Yuhai Pavilion? I remember you. I told you that all of my transactions are included in the records. My tax declarations are scrupulous as well. Oh, yeah? I do hope that my business won't be affected by any groundless accusations. Groundless accusations? Mr. Dongsheng, you seem very sure of yourself. But I sincerely advise that you cease this behavior immediately. It is liable to affect the fine you'll need to pay in the end. <sighs> uh, no. No. I'm an honest merchant. I would never get involved with any fraudulent sources of profit. You've gotten a shame. Haven't I made myself clear? Mr. Dongsheng, you've already been proven guilty of tax evasion. I just came here to see if you'd confess. Ah, oh, damn man. What? Proven guilty? How, how come? That's impossible. Absolutely absurd. He's talking without rhyme or reason. Must be crumbling under Ganyu's pressure. I mean, when you're literally faced with the, the people telling you, Hey, the taxes, by the way, it's kind of... Time for the finishing blow! Kick his ass! Mr. Dongsheng, can you tell me what this is? I... It... It's an invoice from Fanmu Carpenters. I... I'm... Master Lu, he... I didn't... <laughs> Do you admit to tax evasion? This transaction was absent from the tax record. <sighs> I didn't think you'd find out. I didn't leave a single trace. Indeed. We wouldn't have found out if it weren't for Mr. Bolai's aid. <laughs> <sighs> Bolai? That imp from Wanyo Boutique? So he told on me behind my back. <laughs> <clears throat> He's got his own share of dirty laundry. Oh? Mr. Dongsheng... I'd like to hear a little more about this dirty laundry. Would you care to elaborate? Oh, damn. Fucking ping-ponging. Tax machinations. I don't think you'll need my guidance for what comes next. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you, Ms. Ganyu. I can take it from here. <laughs> That's good. <sighs> I must say, you're truly impressive, Ms. Ganyu. Your enemy knows you best. 
To think, you came up with this plan and executed it so masterfully. Execution. <laughs> it's actually one of your father's. The Tian Shu's old tricks. I just took some inspiration from it. Huh? M my father? Pitting your opponent against their enemies and watching them drag each other down from an advantageous position... That's how Uncle Tian managed to keep his position in the Qixing secure for so many years. Oh, jeez. I figured that as Uncle Tian's daughter, you'd naturally grasp your father's strategies. <laughs> so, I decided to use one of your father's tricks and play it out for you to see. <sighs> I can see it now. Clearly, I still have a lot to learn about my father. Yeah. I'm really grateful, Ms. Ganyu. <laughs> You're the kindest mentor I've ever had. Thank you. Aww. Ganyu solved both Hoishin's work and family problems. Two birds with one stone. Oh, you've helped me so much. You must... You must allow me to repay your kindness. Uh, that's not necessary. No need to be so serious. It was nothing, really. Then let me treat you to a meal. Hmm? The Traveler and Paimon are invited as well. Oh, well, I mean, if you're paying... <laughs> oh, right, shit, sorry. Come on, Ganyu. Just say yes. Let's eat. Uh, let's see if you got any decision. If it's just a meal, there's no reason for me to decline. It'll be my pleasure, Huixin. <laughs> is she, like, kissing flowers, though? Actually, I've already booked Senor Kiosk. I need a moment to prepare everything first. Let's meet there in a while. Also, why was the Traveler's face so, like, angry there? Hmm. All right. We dare not refuse such generosity. How generous. Alright, second, third, one more. We just have to deal with the entire fact that Ganyu doesn't feel like she belongs here, but I guess we'll get there eventually. Hey cat. Here we go. Okay. Oh gosh. I feel, I feel kinda lightheaded to be honest. Well, I can at least finish this. Man, I really don't know what's wrong with my body. I've been having so many issues lately. Oh gosh, oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty lightheaded. Miss Ganyu, thank you for accepting my invitation. And as for the I two of you, your presence is also much appreciated. Oh god, all this food, is that crab? Sure! Well, the textures were a little bit better. <laughs> That's so kind of you, Huixin. You went to great lengths to organize this. <laughs> Truth be told, apart from thanking you for all the help, there's something I'd like to tell you. Please come back. Oh? If there's anything I can help you with, just tell me straight away. No need to hesitate. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I don't really need help. Uh, could you just listen for a bit? With pleasure. <laughs> uh, when I was a little girl... My father used to tell me many stories about you, Ms. Ganyu. So popular. Even though I have the utmost respect for my father, I always admired how gentle and reliable you are. I've only decided to join the Yuhai Pavilion staff because I've always looked up to you. Aww. I didn't know that you think so highly of me. See, you're not unwelcome here. However, in reality, working at the Yuhai Pavilion... Turned out to be an arduous task. I can't compare myself to such an outstanding secretary like you. I often doubt myself as a result. I disagree. You're a great secretary in your own right. Yeah, Ganyu's a monster. Even if she wasn't an adept, I feel like she would still be a fucking monster. <laughs> Thank you. Over the years, I became a mother, too. Oh, shit. Huh? So Uncle Tian is a grandpa! I mean, he looks like it. <laughs> Influenced by my youthful ideals, she followed my footsteps and came to be a secretary at the Yuhai Pavilion too. Wait, wait, wait. How old are you? At first, I was worried about her. It's not an easy job, after all. To tell the truth, I'm still unsure if she's capable enough. 
But after all that happened this time, I've made up my mind to support her choice. If, yeah, if it's something you want to do, it's good to support them. Even if it isn't something they're good at, I think it's still good to support them if it's something they really, really want to do. So, what made you change your mind? Oh, the fact that she'll have you no. with Ganyu as her senior colleague. Oh, dude, that's so sweet. You'll help her, gentle as always, and tell her your mom used to do it like that. Mm. <laughs> It'd be such a beautiful moment. If it's not too much to ask for, she might still need your guidance in 20 plus years, too. Huishin, I... I never thought that I meant so much to you. See, nobody wants a gun. Everybody loves you. <laughs> Just like when you showed me my father's trick. Having you as their witness makes people feel at ease. Witness? It's true that I've witnessed thousands of years of Liyue Harbor's history. All the changes it's gone through. The stories of its people. But I've always regarded it as nothing more than the source of my loneliness. Huishin, you don't know how important those words are to me. <laughs> You've made me realize that I share another connection with the people of Liyue Harbor. Apart from my contract with Rex Lapis, they rely on me, accept me, and long for me to bear witness to their stories. Yeah. Oh, of course. You're irreplaceable to us. <laughs> That's right. That's why I can't disappoint you. Hooray! Ganyu's <laughs> finally cheered up! Even if I've really been supplanted, I wish to fight for my place. No one... I won't let you down. I'm going to fulfill my contract and keep working as the Chi Sing secretary. You haven't been fired, it's a misunderstanding. Regardless, I'll go back and see for myself. I'm afraid that it might have all become a mess during my absence. Yeah. No time to waste. Let's get back to work. Good luck, Miss Ganyu. <laughs> uh, we're leaving already? Paimon's still hungry. Get the takeout boxes. There's a lot of food here, actually. It's kind of a waste. Just don't get, just give me that shit. Give me that. Where's the takeout box? Where's the door? <laughs> Is this the door? Oh, it is. <laughs> I feel like I'm always get trapped inside the buildings. City reputation. I recently finished that one quest line for a. Uh, Juliana, you know that one daily commission where you had to help Rudolph find the gifts for his wife? I recently finished that quest line, and my god, like I woke up this morning, I was like, okay, I just do my, all my dailies, and I was like, you know, hopefully it'll be really quick, like it'll be a really quick daily, and it ended up being the fucking longest daily because it had its own like whole storyline. Jesus Christ. I mean, I was fine with it because I was like, I was in a good enough mood where it didn't really matter. Oh my god. I'm also finding that, um... My stream isn't lagging as much as I think it is. It's, it's still lagging, but it's mostly just my computer being bad. Uh -huh. uh. Baisha, are you okay? <laughs> Did you fall asleep standing up? Look! Look who's back! Welcome back! Do you even have enough time for leisure? It seems you three are a suitable replacement for me after all. <sighs> Not at all! We just... We've been working for too long. If we didn't take a break... They'd fucking die! We wouldn't have survived long enough to see you again, Miss Ganyu. Miss Ganyu, we've missed you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so kind of you all. Given we've only met once. We've been praying day and night for you to return and take over your duties again. To us, you're like an adeptus coming down to the human world to save all life. <laughs> Forget all our envious complaints from before. Just free us from this strenuous work, please. <laughs> all right. 
All right, I see. Please divide the matters at hand into government affairs, business affairs, and civil affairs. Mark out the tasks that haven't been started, and those that are in progress. I'll take care of the rest. Oh. Of course. We'll do it right away. Oh, finally. <laughs> We're saved. Nice. Uh, yes. There's one more thing. I'd like to earnestly thank you, Traveler. If it weren't for your companionship, I would still be embroiled in my inner conflict right now. It was a, f it was a fun adventure for me, too. <laughs> to think that I'd gained a human friend outside of work. It makes me happier than I could have imagined. I'd like to repay you when I'm done with the work at hand. What would you say if I accompanied you on one of your trips? You know, I would have really loved that, but I got a gene instead. Sure, but are you ever done with work on you? Hmm. Maybe on the re return. Because Venti and uh, Tataglia's band is coming back, right? Uh, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? My goodness. All right. Oh, she didn't even stay, so I can't talk to her. Well, I guess she does have to get, get back to work, so... Send me to the Jade Chamber that's no longer existent. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> fucking fell. Okay, next one. Moving on to... Hitao! Oh yeah, it was a random world quest. The Wang Shen Funeral Parlor. That's not the Wang Shen Funeral Parlor. What the hell is this? Oh, that's on the ground, so it's probably up here. Oh yeah, it's totally up here. It's the uh, forest, right? Where the cinematic was. I'm so happy that I got rid of the Siren Mage here. Because the Siren Mage here would just kick her ass like if you just teleported. Thank god they got rid of her. Wait, wait. When I finish this, I'll do a couple more pulls. I don't think I'm gonna get her, but. Might as well, right? Why did we come here? Paimon's got a bad feeling about this. Um, not that Paimon's scared or anything. Just. Uh, concerned for your safety. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Paimon. It's just that this is how lots of scary stories go. You're in an empty place, in the middle of nowhere, there's barely any light, and then just when you least expect it, a stranger comes out of... Oh, <laughs> oh hey. Hey, man. Ah, quick, do something. Did you say you were concerned about my safety? Paimon's intuition says that anyone we run into here is going to be far from normal. <laughs> Jeez. Who are you? Uh, I came from beyond the heavens. From beyond the heavens? A strange way of putting it. I mean, it's true. D don't try to scare me. I'm just here for a funeral. I don't mean to offend. No matter who you are, there's no need for any ill will between us. Don't worry, don't worry. It's just a joke. Ooh. Seems he's just your average scaredy cat. He looks more afraid than Paimon. But you're kind of terrifying. Huh? Super friendly looking. Well, have you looked at him here? Don't be afraid. We come in peace. <laughs> Time on, stop it. You're scaring him. No, no, no. Stop freaking out and stand still. Relax. Relax? Yes, whatever you say. Please stay your hand. <laughs> don't come any closer. I mean you no harm. Don't. Don't touch me. Hey, Pyro already said nothing's gonna happen. Whatever, just leave him off. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> something Paimon said? I'm telling you, it's too scary. Let's go after him. He might do something stupid. It's terrifying, Paimon. You can't just go up scaring people like that. Oh, hey, Huta. <gasps> director! Director! There's a ghost after me! <laughs> oh? Don't get too excited. These are clients, not ghosts. Exactly! We said we're not ghosts! Why won't you calm down and let us explain? 
<laughs> Although clients doesn't seem quite right either. He's saying we're clients because we're just about to die. Yeah. They Forgive stab me. us. This is one of our new undertakers, Mung. It's his first time working a funeral, so of course he's afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> funeral. Funeral. <gasps> oh, the Wangsheng Funeral Boiler! Zhang Li is a consultant there. They deal with this stuff a lot, right? Yeah. Oh, you know Zhang Li? Well, that saves me a lot of explaining. I'm Hu Tao, the current director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, responsible for, uh, well, trifling matters having to do with immortality. All right. A satisfying trade to be in, though, and Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is well known around town. Whatever the request, I'd be glad to hear it. Well, I don't think we fall into the client category. Yeah, if we were looking for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's help, this is hardly the place we would come to. Yeah, we'd probably go to, you know, the store. Ah, but you see, I wasn't referring to clients in the business sense. Everyone who enters this mortal realm will be a client of mine. Will be? Holy shit. <laughs> Sooner or later. Fuck me, man. Well, that's dark. <laughs> yeah. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor welcomes advanced reservations. When you choose us, you'll never have to worry about what might be around the corner. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. But be sure to book the right date. Pro tip, it is a living nightmare trying to get flowers at short notice. Speaking of dates, if you're struggling to decide, please do come and talk it over. I'd hate to see you still alive and kicking when your big day comes. Uh, Jesus. Whoa. Slow down. <laughs> That's... Uh, you... There's a lot to unpack. <laughs> Is everyone out of action for a parlor a weirdo? <laughs> You'll have to excuse her. The director is a rather unique individual. Allow me to explain. We'd heard that there'd been some supernatural activity at Wuong Hill. To restore calm here, we performed a funeral ceremony. I mean, there's that one ghost that we had like side quests for forever ago. It went very smoothly. According to the director, we shouldn't be expecting any more issues in the near future. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, Wuong Hill, Funeral. What more is there to say? These three belong in the same sentence. Huh? You two, on the other hand, have no business coming to Wuong Hill. You being here is not normal. Oh, well, yeah. Um, maybe your understanding of normal isn't quite normal. <laughs> I'm here on an adventure. Adventure? <laughs> you must hail from the Adventurers Guild. Then you are one of our distinguished clients. Would, to be precise. Huh? Would? What do you mean? That's just how we gauge our clients' importance. We have four levels. Wicker, bamboo, wood, and marble. The higher the grade, the better we'd like to get to know you. Uh, is it because we're likely to die? But I've just only heard of this. <laughs> well, that's because I only just thought of it. Oh, don't look so shocked. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, take a look. Our adventurers spend the whole day scaling mountains, clearing domains, and smiting enemies. Danger and peril are their bread and butter. Yeah. Clients like these deserve better treatment. Taking an interest in their daily lives will ultimately benefit not only them, but also me. Ah, how subtle of you. Oh, touched a nerve, did I? I'd have thought any adventurers who dare come here would be used to conversations like this. Yeah, I know we're gonna die, but like... Anyway, I have a favor to ask. Recently, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has been trying to strike a business deal with the Adventurers Guild. With you acting as an intermediary, it would be so much easier. What's in it for me? Hmm, let me think what I could offer you as a reward. <gasps> or perhaps there's a favor I could do in return? Ah, we're looking for someone. We've asked a lot of people, but nobody seems to have a clue where they are. Oh yeah, our sister. This seems like something right up my alley. <gasps> I can even inquire with the ones who no longer speak for you. I right, thanks. You see? Helping me will be worth your while. Come on then, my able assistants. Let's get down to Liyue Harbor and do some business. Uh, when did we become your assistants? Jesus Christ. Longshun Funeral Parlor. The ones who no longer speak... Oh, did she mean talking to the dead? Yeah. Uh, she's a weird one. <laughs> oh, you are too, if I'm on, so. Okay. Go talk to Catherine. 
tell her about this potential business prospect. Yeah, I recently got this uh, wolf gravestone on my deluxe. As you can see, if I swing my sword here. Blink. I got it on the, the standard banner. So it's my, I think it's my pity 5 star. Because I was so close to it, I just kept pulling until I got it. And yeah, here it is. The pain in the ass upgrade. Again. Look, I told you, we're not interested in the kind of cooperation you <laughs> describe. Come on, there's no reason to get upset. Look, one of your members is an avid supporter of my proposition. You just hear her out. Oh, since our last negotiation, I've come up with a new proposal, which I think you'll find has far more benefits for you. First things first, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor will prioritize the Adventurer's Guild requests above all others. You'll also receive 100 of our signature wooden coffins for free, together with your first order. Why would you need that many? That's not all. We also provide an on-site cadaver collection service covering almost all regions in Liyue. No, we do charge a slight premium for a very small number of especially dangerous areas, but, but don't you worry about that. I promise you, it's still... Very affordable. <laughs> Wait, on-site cadaver collection service? You mean like going in and collecting their dead bodies? Holy fuck. I don't think you're hearing me. Okay, all right. I get it. You want to bargain a little more. But our offer as it stands is already quite a good deal, don't you think? I mean, it's pretty... yeah. Just think about it. An adventurer's life is full of unexpected threats. It's only natural to take precautions. Mend the roof before it rains, as they say. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not so sure that saying applies in this context. Speaking of precautions, I'd rather focus on keeping my adventurers safe in the first place. It's time for you to go. I have to attend to other matters. Oh, wait, hold on! What would you say to a group discount? 30% off for parties of 10? Dude, it's a fucking grave. Director, please, you did your best. <laughs> we don't need another clash with the Millilith. The Millilith? What did you do? all that correctly it seems like she's trying to sell them the funeral parlor services uh, this will get us nowhere uh, yeah nothing left to do here let's go back to Wangsheng funeral parlor okay well we all of us rejecting a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity it's their loss some things are inevitable it's only a matter of time I mean yeah but not everybody wants to face death head-on you know that's the thing about the you know funeral, funeral services is that that's kind of what they had to deal with, you know, just dealing with death head on. One second, let me actually go over here, see if I can buy anything from this guy. I think I bought everything at the store, but just in case. Oh no, I yoinked that. I felt like I was missing something, but I wasn't sure. I also just get some more money. Guild. Yeah, cause my my travelers like won away, and I was wondering who the hell. Cause um, I actually have a full <sighs> constellation jangling. Yeah, I can find her. Yeah, I got her on full constellation. So I was like, who else do I have on full constellation? Traveler, but apparently he wasn't. So jangling's my first traveler, uh, first character at full constellation. Also, Barbara's almost at full con. Um. Fischl's half. Uh, Razor's half. Dragon's one. Yeah, I think it's only those two. I think Q is kind of. Oh, also, Jinyan. Jinyan. Okay, let's go. Enough about my constellations. The old ways are the most reliable after all. Mung, are you done preparing our promotional materials? Flyers? Nah, uh, my apologies. I'm only about halfway through. Do you really think they will be effective? What is it? Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. Huh? I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. Although, 
It is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. If only we could burn them by the batch. Jeez. No, Director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about the special offer they advertise. A uh, special offer? <laughs> Wangsheng Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? Uh, I mean, new clients are people who had p other people die, right? So I feel like it's not something you really can keep a track of unless you kill people, but... I don't think it's what you want to do. Business development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. I put up posters just like all the other shops, but the Millilith promptly removed them. <sighs> what was on it? Then I organized the Wangsheng Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. Oh god. Well that doesn't come as a huge surprise. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. So now, I go from door to door looking for people and organizations willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild. That's what I mean by business development. The other method I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons. Just by writing things like, buy one get one free for the holder of this tile on them. <sighs> the thing is, it's a funeral. <laughs> get a solid and durable second home of course uh. well, they may not need it right away but they can be sure that when they do it will still be as good as new <clears throat> it won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself oh gosh the Wang Sheng funeral parlor quality guarantee holy fuck i'm not to say to that all right mung keep adding those special offers to the wooden tiles the future of our business depends on it. This is so fucking wild. I like I knew she was a wild character, but holy shit. <sighs> I'm still not sure this will work. Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? It is true. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. <sighs> You're right. It's unfair. Yeah, that's the issue here. Hmm. Let me do some market research. Wait here, my faithful assistants. I'll be back with you in a moment. It shouldn't take too long. I feel like you're ever going to like get a client's over only ever gonna buy so many, right? So many I services. Told you we're not your assistants! <laughs> uh, guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. Let's look around while she's away. Hmm. The way we're wording this lacks warmth and sincerity. Do you lack warmth and sincerity? If we're content to settle for just seeing people off, how can we give them a sense of really having gained something? But that's a tough feeling to convey <laughs> yeah. in this industry. Precisely the problem. If we can't get that feeling across, then how will we get return clients? R return clients? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get many return clients, buddy. You must be the director's new hires. Not us! We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and who's how. Yeah, we're just kinda here. Well, I wouldn't get too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. <laughs> the director is tactful when it comes to what should and shouldn't be known. Really? The behind the store's Wang Chen Funeral Parlor. It looks far more ordinary than the director made it out to be. There's no crack under the door either. A board used for hanging Wang Chen Funeral Parlor's wooden tiles. According to Hu Tao, all the tiles should be blank. In which case, the characters on the back of the tiles must be the special offer. We should get going. Let's go find Hu Tao. She's right here. That's settled then. Write it like this. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. Huh. Wait, is that worth it? I guess if it's a one-time offer, right? Because if you just buy two, buy one, get one free, then you buy four. And then you get two for free. So you would have two. Or would you get... Buy two and then get three free? Oh, no, I see. Okay. That's worth it then. Except... You're not going to need it. <laughs> I love it. Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. 
We want people to feel warm and fuzzy. For the cold and lifeless corpses. Uh, but director, isn't lifeless the name of the game in this industry? <laughs> yeah. That's old hat. We're opening up new ground. Why does Wangshun Funeral Parlor need to open up? <sighs> <laughs> yes, director. Poor Meng. Poor guys giving. <laughs> yeah. Right, we should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. We? As in us. <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Oh, well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. <laughs> Stop adding little afterthoughts like that! <laughs> Creeps people out! <laughs> Just a joke, sorry. Everything you see is everything that's present. For the moment, at least. Stop it! <laughs> Comforting. Uh, lighten up. The way I see it, people make death scarier than it really is. What people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. <sighs> oh, baseless fantasies. What we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wangsheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. I've heard that she's actually is getting like a lot of sales. But I've seen a ghost. Oh, more approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Let's just say at least it didn't hurt us. Yeah, the ghost from, what was it? Wang Shen In? Wang, yeah, Wang Shen In. I guess she did, she did try and hurt us with the Ruin Hunter, but... You must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? Most spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. Mm. So for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits in the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Ah. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. Uh, that's why people think you're weird. I never thought you'd be such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Follow me. Director, wait. What about Big G? Don't forget. Big G? Who's that? We've yeah. been in Lila for ages and never heard that name. Oh, nothing. Just something mung has been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Is it like a giant ghost? Where are we going? To visit an important potential client. I'll lead the way. Okay. I'm guessing it's just over here. There's no point in teleporting because it's literally right over here. Hello, Boo. Uh, sorry. Who are you? Hello, I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Oh no. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Mm, nothing major. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? Oh no. You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often they're an omen of something terminal. Oh no. <laughs> when we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains... Best to keep an eye on them. Oh, Jesus Christ. What are you getting at? <laughs> I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. <laughs> Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. Well, that didn't go very well. Why did they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? Hyman thinks it's because they're coming from the director of a funeral party. <laughs> yeah. They're basically asking them to die. They can just run. It's not too far away. I also like the music, so that's fine. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Oh, there's a quest over here. Uh, and you are. Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? <sighs> uh... 
I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? <laughs> yeah. Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? Yeah, I think so too. Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. Yeah. I'm not sure it's every service that falls into that. <laughs> uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. He was pretty <sighs> nice about it. Another failure. Still, not the end of the world. Pilot's curious. Oh, that hurts. Does this approach ever work out for you? I, I pressed space too late. I know your face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Uh. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. Uh. <laughs> if you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. Oh, God. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. Jesus, how do you get businesses? Business. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. <laughs> eventually they will have to use it, right? There's no persuading them. Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Mm. Well, thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Not really. <laughs> this is just getting really uncomfortable. Yeah. Enough business development. Please help me find someone. Business development? Is that what you see this as? Is it not? Surely you don't think all that was business development. What is it then? Then what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? Uh, rings a bell, but... As it turns out, the big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost to drift in the mortal realm. Oh, then what were you doing asking for people for the services then? The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. Oh, okay. So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. Ah, <sighs> uh, if that was stopping for a quick chat... In declining health. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were talking to people who are about to die. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. <laughs> <laughs> were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people, or? <laughs> I'm always trying to subtly imply that. Uh, never mind. <laughs> And head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. Hmm. I think it's actually something really deep. There's also this quest over here. Uh, I just put like a ping somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. Eh. I just eh, 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 eh. I'll come back to it later when I'm not streaming. Do -do 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 there's probably like a lot of world quests I just haven't seen yet. Does the Adeptus one that I have give me Primo Gems? Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't matter! Here. This way. 1000 HP in a dream. Hey. Mung, I'm back. <sighs> I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. What does Big G mean? I stand see. for. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. I've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this Big G anyway? Yeah. I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. You gonna get this whole life story? Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. The girl from that World Quest from Forever Ago, she also had someone she was... Like a big brother that she had, right? 
I wonder if that's related. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. Oh. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Sounds like a tall story. Perhaps. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. Well, I mean, if it's still bugging you, even if it isn't necessarily true, you still kind of feel like you had to help, right? How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? <sighs> That's why he joined Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. Mm. And in fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But... As for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. But here we are, empty-handed. Mm. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Is this Wong Chung Funeral Parlor? Yeah, well, yeah, this it is. My name's Lo Chung. I've had this awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. Some of my friends and I went to Wu Wong Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that it's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon. Well. Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right, and a serious one at that. You believe so, too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War returned to cast their evil curses upon mortals. Didn't they mostly, uh, I guess it, they didn't curse the uh, Yaksha, but the Yaksha kind of deal with that, don't they? And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end. Jesus, calm down, buddy. The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales. Wu Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Wang Cheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me. I beg you. I'm too young to die. <laughs> Jesus. All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location. And we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. Okay. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. Alright. She always has a smug face, so like, Jesus. It's really cute though. Help me! I don't want to die! Don't worry. The director is highly skilled. She'll help you find a way. Nice set. Nice set, nice set, nice set. Up here? Uh... Uh... Here. I guess this is the best place I can go to. Oh, he just walked, but whatever. Turn into the water. Submerge yourself in the stone. Okay. Does glaze at least? Yeah, those aren't Miss Flower Corolla, so. Yeah, okay. Glazily. These are artificial, right? They aren't natural. They're, <laughs> they're grown by humans. It's not artificial either, but. They're man-grown. 
They aren't natural. So, what mysterious rituals are you gonna perform here? No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Oh, okay. Eh? Wait. You didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> they were eradicated ages ago. <laughs> So why are we here? You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turned into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. All right. Uh, sounds like that might work. If you were trying to cheer up a three-year-old. How old are you, Paimon? Why would you ask that? Paimon just wants to know why we can't tell everyone the truth. <laughs> because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make-believe. Mm. Makes sense. But why would anyone believe that it's a curse? Do you know the history of the Yaksha? Yeah, I just know some bits and pieces. They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. And the Yakshas are the ones that dealt with it, right? That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. The plague took the lives of many, which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay. Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years, but eventually the plague was completely eradicated. <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> Every the Wangshin has such a long history. So when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real or it would incite panic. Understandable. <sighs> anyway, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This ley line monolith will make for a really great prop. A while later. Oh, you're finally here. We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. But don't worry. The traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You failed to mention we need to fight. Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Uh. Will that really solve my problem? Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo, but she's serious about everything she does. <laughs> At least this man is very trusting. <sighs> How can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different? No, weirdo is fine. <laughs> Alright, let's get down to business. My glamorous assistant, please activate the device. I. So my deluxe almost dead, so let me just give him a fish here. Is it really possible to materialize the curse? Well, these guys are dying. But even if it isn't, at least we're killing things. I'm counting on you. What if I fail? <laughs> Think you can get away? <laughs> what if I just lose? <laughs> monk, monk, monk. Get my ability back up for the next time I use it. How are you feeling? Did the curse leave your body? Uh, yes, I feel more invigorated than ever before. I'm cured. A placebo, man. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. Uh huh. Uh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. 
da, 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 da. You've been pranked! <laughs> uh, what? This exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. <laughs> so riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? Psychopath. Delusion. The curse wasn't real? Hallucination. Yeah. Then why was I sick? Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess. But I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. <sighs> How unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. Yeah. Uh, don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again. So I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Human life is short. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah. Wow. I... What a weird thing to say. Especially from a funeral parlor that's been trying to sell their fucking coffins. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. Alright. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. However, unless he crosses the border, there will be no end to his antics. It's not, he's not doing anything, buddy. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I believe that won't be needed. Hmm? He found us first. Oh, for real? Uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. Uh, hi. This is Big G? He's just a child? They were childhood friends. He died when he was just a child. Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. What Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. <laughs> Let's bring him back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. Alright. Wait. How much have I finished? Is this the second one or the third one? Oh, this is the second one. That first one took like 40 minutes. That's alright, I'm having a good time, so I'm not too drowsy. Crazily enough. Uh, well, I'm, I'm a bit drowsy. Yeah, but I'll be fine. I can keep playing, I'm having fun. After all that's happened, Pyra's not even sure what's going on anymore. I didn't expect to stumble upon Big G just like that either. Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he can't go back. Huh. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. <laughs> Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. <laughs> a few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Hmm. Oh, it must have been poor Lo Chung that he followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. I was discovered? <laughs> well, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Why didn't you come looking for Meng sooner? Yeah, Hu Tao and Meng were searching for Meng. you all over the place. Oh, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Yeah, I'm assuming the city is a lot bigger than the game shows it to be, but... Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. <laughs> so, all of this was just because you got lost? <laughs> it's a lost child. Why didn't you just fly? Like any other gooster spirit. Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? Uh, can they? I can't. It's too high for me. 
I get scared. Oh, they can. It's just he's still a child. That's right. Yes. He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I can't think they call you Tology. I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living. And with so many people walking around Leo Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. Hmm. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> now, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill. And we should be done and dusted. So dusted. far, so far. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Mu Mu, and Songza. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony for Big G. Okay. Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wulong Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual. Then come and find us. Okay. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them. Um... That's not a good idea. I don't want to scare them. Yeah. Hmm. I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. Hmm. So be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Howdy ho. Are we really going with Hu Tao's plan? It's fine. At least by keeping things low key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. Yeah. It is nice to keep superstitions on the down though. Oh, you. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor services anytime soon. Mengs, uh, Monk said that he's an old friend of yours. <sighs> yes, we grew up together. We still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar. But he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically He's... speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. <laughs> Definitely not gonna <laughs> actually go commemorate him or anything. Uh, it's a little bit on the nose. I... I'd cook something for him. Oh... He could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jueyun chili chicken. Okay. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jueyun chilies. I have a lot of those. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal! Just give us a minute. Got it. Bada bing. Bada boom. Jueyun chilies are a common sight in Liu. I can rustle that dish up in no time if you help me find some. Got some for you, buddy. One. It's funny how it's always one. Great. This should be enough. <laughs> one. Get started on the Julian chili chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down? Yeah. When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. All right, cool. Great. See you later. Uh, how did he know about the others? <laughs> you probably could tell because you're pretty... Pretty not discreet about it. Try your luck betting on Jade? <laughs> I fucking bet on Jade forever ago. The first time I ever bet on Jade, I got the jackpot immediately. The second time, I fucking missed like seven times in a row. I just refused to give up. Mumu. Dar Mumu. I've come to the bar again. <sighs> not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. That's not it. Mung told us about you. You good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. I come to think of it, I remember he did join Wangsheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. Oh. I wonder if he has like a storyline, like a little quest for him. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? How did you know? <laughs> you didn't even say anything. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a businessman. I won't go spilling your secrets. 
Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. <laughs> I never heard the end of it when I set up shop, but I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Nice, good job, man. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Mm. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. I didn't see it. Wow. Totally on purpose, though. You must be, like, super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. Uh -huh. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for Little Wu and Tsongzi next. We already saw Little Wu. Now we gotta find Songza. I see. If it's Songza you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. Mm -hmm. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. Okay. It's right around the corner. That quest mark is moving, isn't it? Top. Right there. Okay. Let's play. Let's play. Yeah, all three of you. Huh? You're all here. Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. <laughs> Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster. So. We've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. Aww. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes? You look really tired. I make artisan sail lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Sure. Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. In a jiffy. In a jiff peanut box. Jeez, that's a, a minute away. Now, if you could choose any place to be. Like one of one of the cities to live in, which one do we choose? Like this place is nice and all, but there's a lot of fish here, and I'm not the biggest fan of fish, so I probably wouldn't eat it. But hey, hi, we're here to pick up the plastic shards for before. Sansa. Uh, I think he mentioned it. Uh, yes, here you are in the register. No problem. The plastic shards are over in that crate there. Please what? help yourselves. That one? Nope. On the opposite side. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look someplace else. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look someplace else. As I gaze These out look like what Sungzu was talking about. Let's hit that. Okay. Got a poet over there. One of the people we had to do a quest for, right? In the Zhao Lantern thing. Okay. Go back up. Yahoo! 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 Okay. My thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay. Don't you mount okay. uh. <laughs> There we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. Huh? No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take, while this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. Thanks. But if you get the chance... Please let them know we're doing well, and that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. You can count on us. Thank you. We'll pass it on. 
Big T is lucky to have friends like you. Mm. We got everything we need. Let's go to Wulong Hill and find Hu Tao and the others. You know, I just realized. Mine's the only item that's been outright purchased. <laughs> yours are both handmade. But yours is worth a lot more. Worth and Mora is not what's important here. These things all played a big part in our childhood. They show that we will never forget our promise. Oh. Alright. Oi, oi, oi. There you go. So happy they got over the fucking Siren Mage. I'm lagging a little bit here. But hopefully it gets a little bit better. Let me just read these items real quick. What was it? This? Names? Jeez. Um. Okay. Hey y'all. How y'all doing? You're back already? Sooner than I expected. You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? <laughs> Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? Kinda. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes. So I guess they knew the deal. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, the one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. Which is just as well, because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. I can't tell if you're serious anymore. Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility, and I'm stricter than most. Mm. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? Of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. All right. And where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? <laughs> or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. All right, uh, please stop. So listen to everything I say. Let's go. Paimon scared. <laughs> but like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. Alright. Take part waypoint unlocked. What? Enter the border. I guess I'm gonna get a Huta out of this. I think we're gonna be able to use Hu Tao here. Hu Tao. Social knowledge. You can read up on it to find more of it in the future. Knowledge is power. I don't know. I feel like I never really used that. It doesn't give you like precise locations. I guess use the interactive map whenever I need to farm anything. Yep. Wow. What I like is that. This place? Somewhere close to death, but not like the hell or underworld from the tales of old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. So keep your cool. Follow me. The farewell ceremony site is just up ahead. Okay. Oh, there's a little thing here I can look at. That pattern looks familiar. From the right angle, you can make out the whole thing. Oh, just like last time. Got it. This fucking shadow step. Okay. And I can dash and I can flick a little mark. Wait. Well. Hey. Oh jeez, I have a lot of health. 30,000? Holy fuck. <laughs> That's 
slide's named the border. You can't just cross whenever you please. You need to have a little... How do people normally put it? Pomp and ceremony? Paimon's pretty sure that's not how people put it. This fucking ability takes so much health to use up. I thought it hurt over time, but it's just the initial activation that actually hurts. Hi. Nice, uh... My, uh, my makeshift Zhao. Frank! Oh, what that did? Go. This? Oh, it's another one. By the way, I imagine Adventurers Guild members are good at making order of things. See if you can find a way to get the right things into the right places. Usually it requires a bit of destruction as well as elemental reactions. On your marks! That's... Y you talking to us? <laughs> Are you talking to the player? Do I need this first? Go. What is this? Why is this here? Okay. Good. So that was the destruction thing. This is probably the other thing, but it's not proccing. Why isn't it activating? Am I fucking up? Huh? What? Okay, I probably just... Am I not seeing something? Oh, I'm lost. Wow, this is like the easiest puzzle, and I'm fucking it up. What am I supposed to do? Because it's not activating. No? Yahoo! <laughs> Why isn't this working? Uh, I'm not going to be able to cheat my way around either. Might have bugged it. It's probably the case. Here, I'm going to I'm gonna redo this. I think I accidentally bugged it. Because that's kind of... It's just not working. That was weird. <sighs> How much do I get for finishing a quest line again? I'm thinking it's 150, but I think that's too much. Probably 60. I think by the end of this stream, I'll be able to do three pulls on the banner. Who knows? It's a real low chance, but a low chance is still a chance, right? Okay, we'll see this again. For whatever reason, it bugged out. Place. Yeah, making it easier on myself and just close that. to death, but not like the hell or underworld from the tales of old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. Uh. That pattern looks familiar. From the right angle, you can make out the whole thing. Oh, just like last time. Hello? This one isn't working either. Oh, there we go. That one was just a bit more precise. Alright, well, let's do this again. I probably use that like on top of something so that it actually does some more fire damage. Go! Go! Think you can get away? Think you can get away? Let me Hold on, character. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Dash, bonk. 
feel at peace. This is decent bit of damage. That's why it's named the border. You can't just cross whenever you please. You need to have a little... How do people normally put it? Pomp and ceremony? I'm oh, pretty sure that's not how people put it. Okay. Oh, he's still alive. Does it do more damage to me if I got low HP? By the way, I imagine Adventurers Guild members are good at making order of things. See if you can find a way to get the right things into the right places. Usually it requires a bit of destruction as well as elemental reactions. On your marks. Okay. Y you talking to us? Elemental reactions though. The bit of destruction is referring to like destroying those plants, but Oh there we go. Yeah, no, it was just bugged earlier. What was that? Oh okay. Yeah, it's just another there's a ghost ghosty thing. Oh, hey chest. I was just thinking that there weren't really many chests in this area, but I got one. Okay. Hello. Oh. Hi. Think you can get away? Here we go. <laughs> Let's just use this. There's a lot of damage. It also applies the fire debuff, eh? Quit it. The little thing, the little fire blossom thing I can put on things. Fire, fire, pants on fire. Go. Okay. Go. Yeah, honestly, she isn't like the most useful character, but I, I still like her. Kind of like how I wanted a Zhongli when he first came out. Just because I wanted another god on my team. So I could have both a Venti and a Zhongli on my team. Have a team comprised yeah. of gods. I guess I had to wait till the next banner though. When Zhongli gets a rerun. Luckily for me, I have a Venti and a Tartaglia already. So I don't need to bother with that banner. What's this? Nothing, I guess. All these little will o wisps floating around. Huh? This looks the same, but there aren't enough. Ah, so confusing. Let's have a look around. Or up ahead. Get out of here, spider. Oh, I need another ghosty for that. Huh? Oh god, this is big. I already have one ghosty. The hell? What I get that? Whatever, I guess I'll take it. Wow, this is a mistake. I don't have nearly enough stamina. Aha, but for me, I have stamina recovery items. You There you go, not even worried. Would have sucked if I drowned. Gotta be more careful next time I drop into water. Just gonna use that, just because it's a bit easier. It's lower cooldown. Where is this? I'm not the best with my direction, so... Please take it easy on me. Game. What is this? Are we just going back in a circle? What's the point of that? They're close? They're closed. What? I guess I got another one. Isn't this where we just were before? Okay, well, you know, I'll take it. Finally! Paimon 
thought we were going to be trapped in that weird place forever. We haven't got a hotel cutscene yet, so. Wait for that. That's exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. So that's the weird stuff out of the way, right? Yeah, it's only just beginning. Yep. <laughs> just dive off the edge here. Huh? That's kind of a really tall edge. No, nope, beggar shepherd shoes. Er. Oh, that looks nice though. Burr. That looks really nice. If only I could take pictures here. Shame you can't take pictures in domain, so. Strolling through <laughs> the undergrowth. Welcome to the farewell ceremony site. Our destination is just up ahead. Oh, wow. I know you're excited, so feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this place. <laughs> wow. This is nice. What the hell? Phew. Go! Lanxy? Are you clients? Apologies. This is just a little unexpected. That's all good. Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease. But I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. Who are you? My name is Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. Exactly how long, I couldn't really say. Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd... It helps to pass the time. Uh. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. Mm. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do anyway. But if you two are looking for someone important to you, it's best not to keep waiting forever. Yeah, it's probably good if you find her sister. By exploring to new regions, perhaps? Go! Hey, zooming. Are you new here? What a coincidence, so am I. <laughs> I can't believe how nice the scenery is. I thought it'd be all pitch black and freezing cold with no sense of space or time. Here I can finally work out a lifetime of emotions. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps I had just set my expectations too low. Alright. Hello, Mo and Shu Yang. By the way, have you seen Uncle Zhang recently? That guy, I remember him saying it was time for him to move on. Ah, good for him. I wonder where he's off to next. If you're curious, why don't we go and see for ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. I'd like to stay here for a while. Interesting. Phew. And all the children. It's the lantern right again. Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? <laughs> you can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. Yell it? Isn't that kind of embarrassing? <laughs> as soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in. And nobody feels embarrassed anymore. <laughs> That's right. Little Wu, you start. All right. I... I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks, so I could enjoy you and chili chicken every day! <laughs> that's your wish? If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course! <laughs> big business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Yeah, if you get rich, you could buy that super expensive toy box! Not just one. One for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Well, if Mumu's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. It's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind. And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah. That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao lanterns. Uh, anyway, those are our wishes. Mung, Big G, what about you? Me? Huh? They all disappeared. Right when he was about to make his wish. Oh, we did get to hear Mung's. 
It brings back so many memories. That was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Have all those wishes really come true? We can prove it to you. We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef. Mumu's a successful businessman. And Tsongzu makes great shell lanterns. Really? Wow. <laughs> We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Anyway, time to release this lantern. Hey, take a hint. <laughs> Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. Sure. Like you could tell while the friends, old friends are reminiscing. Wow, there are even the names of all five of us on it. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, didn't you just say that you release lanterns every year? Do you plan to add more names over the years? Like Little Wu's kids and Mumu's wife? <laughs> Actually, I have some good news. Mumu's soon to be a father. He's been talking about nothing else recently. He's excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if such a goofball will make a good father. <laughs> no, no, no. You'd be surprised how sharp-witted he is now. Let me tell you. All right, you tell. Take the hint? Really? Of all of us, you're the one who needs to learn how to read the room! The scope of work is nothing like I imagined. Really? The end result is the same, though. Exactly what I do and how I do it are just minor technicalities. As I explained, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was, once upon a time, more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor. Hmm. During the Archon War, piles of corpses covered the wilderness. People were plunged into misery and suffering. Disease was spreading all over the land. Death devastated the world of the living. Such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, they managed to drive away death. They must have paid a huge price for that. <laughs> After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. But in the end, some lunatics stirred up the legacy of the dead. Huh. By that I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction, while death was coming back with a vengeance. Huh. It took a long, long time. Longer than you'd think to restore balance and reinstate the border. Without it, Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today. Neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. Hmm. I didn't expect you to be such a storyteller. <laughs> the previous directors all love to tell this one too. Although, if you ask me, I think I tell it best. <laughs> what you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that. A funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. What does agree? It's time to go back. We live in peaceful times. But this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. Okay. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, <laughs> okay? No need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. <laughs> all right. And then the last one. And we get to see the animation. Damn, this this quest is taking me like an hour and a half. Already. This is a long one. It's fine though, I like you too. I feel like I'm gonna have to wait till a fucking re re banner though, so like five months from now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, 
Here I am. I think we did everything we could to make you happy, Big G, wouldn't you say? But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. <laughs> I won't, I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. So you should also mind my warning, Mung. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? <laughs> well then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to Big G. See you later, Big G. I guess this will be the animation. Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. Let's stick to goodbye and such. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, only ours hasn't come true. Huh. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. All right. I'll remember you all. <sighs> Goodbye. And he just vanished like that. That was a cool transition. He's gone then. <sighs> I expected a little bit more though. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but... All I can feel now is emptiness. So, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Well, after each of us has started a family and built a career, we want both our families to spend the lantern right together. Hmm. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. You still have a lot ahead of you. That's right. Also, think about this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. <sighs> so enjoy your life while you can, and when your duty to the living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Uh... <laughs> thank you? <laughs> Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuwang Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. <laughs> uh, aren't you forgetting about something? You promised that you help us in our search. I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. It is a pity indeed. It's probably good that we didn't find her there. <sighs> the biggest pity of all is your lack of help. <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. You don't sound like you mean it. I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border... Oh, what are you gonna stop do? Stop saying creepy stuff! Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. <laughs> Seems like you really like your job. <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there, not even once. Huh. This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them, and left them with no regrets. Interesting. Oh. Huh? Huh? What? 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 There's no animation! Oh, come on! There's no animation for that entire thing. Since I don't plan to ever come back here, I'd like to make the most of this opportunity and stay a bit longer. Okay. The director's right. Perhaps some time away will do me good. A new life awaits me. Dude, she's not sticking around to chat. And she isn't even she didn't even get an animation. Dude, that's so sad. It was a really long one though. Yep. Yeah, I have a I have enough Puma gems for a couple pills, so I'm also doing them on stream. Nope. 
two more. <laughs> nope. Here it is. Nope. Okay. Well, that's kind of what I expected. Alright, well that's the end of it. That took two and a half hours. Thank god the stream also cleared up near the end there. Here, let me go back to the downtown screen. Yeah, okay, so thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow will be, I think, probably Sekiro stream. And then after that, on Monday will be more Ark Nights. On Wednesday will be more Hollow Knight probably. Friday will be Valhalla. I missed today's Friday's uh, Valhalla stream, but I will be doing it next week. Sorry about that. Saturday, I don't know. I'll uh, leave it up for whenever the next week starts, which is tomorrow. So thanks for everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then maybe you'll stop by again. And then, yeah. Take care. Peace.